So tell the people who you is, what you do, and where you from, boss. I'm from Oakland, California. DC, Oakland, is where you're at, 98. Um, my name is Papa German Chef. That's my chef name. But my regular name is Jeremy. A lot of people know me as Zern. Uh, I'm a local chef from the Bay Area, of Oakland. I also do private catering. I do celebrity catering and uh, corporate and you know family events. Just overall chef. I'm overall private chef. Okay, okay. Well, um, t t take us to the beginning of, you know, wh what made you even want to start cooking? What made you want to be a chef? <laughs> oh, man, it's a crazy story. So, it wasn't about me wanting to be a chef at first. Um, so, what well, it was, but how it came to be was I was, uh, I had these, I had these impossible burgers. And the impossible burgers, I, uh, uh, I tried them. And the burger was so good. If I don't know what an impossible burger is, it's a plant-based burger patty um, with a regular burger fill and everything. So, um, yeah, I tried this impossible burger, and I cooked it myself. And from there on, I got this thought in my head, and I said, people need to try this. <laughs> that people need to try these, these, these impossible burgers. Shout out to like this question. Um, so... From then on, I'm like, how can I get people to try these? And I'm like, boom. And nobody really, this was three years ago around the time when nobody was really doing them. But um, um, I was like, let me let me try to do like a little sale. So, you know, I went to go get some containers. I went to go get, you know, everything I needed for the, uh, for, for the sale. And then I just made a post. And the first day, May 9th, 2020, I went crazy. I got like ten burgers off for fifteen dollars, a whole meal. Um, and from then on, it was just like I, I enjoyed that experience of um, I enjoyed that experience of the feedback and the reactions. Like, oh, I got me a burger. Oh, I got me. And then I called it Hood Healthy Burger. So it's called a Hood Healthy Burger. So it's a plant-based burger patty, and it's made just like your regular burger in the hood. So. That's so so so, so 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 you know when when you was when when you came up with the idea, you know, cause I'm I'm putting my mind frame into you know a nigga hitting the block with that bag. Yeah. So, so so I'm saying when when you come out with it, you know, is you kind of thinking like, you know, in the community that we in, is the plant based burgers gonna go well, or or was you convinced that it's gonna it tastes that good that a motherfucker like I got to try this. Mm -hmm. Cause that's but, cause I, yeah. I could just speak from my my perspective. Just you know, I I, I like like meat. I like beef. So I'm yeah. saying like you know when you hit the block with this new product, you know how did you know it was gonna just sell out? How did you know that it was going? Um. Well, I got this thing where I'm able to get people to. I mean, I'm I'm not manipulating, but I'm very convincing. Like, and they won't believe me if I'm not convincing. So you agree, sir? Salesman, you're a great salesman. I, I'm a great. I, I can fit something cold. Mm. Um, so I'm not gonna lie. I did think like you know. I, I didn't think about who wasn't gonna like it. I thought about who was going to give something a, a try that's different. Mm -hmm. So um, that's where that's where my whole thing came in. Like, who, let's see if people are willing to try something a little different than their regular burger. You feel mm -hmm. me? So like I said, I wasn't worried about who was the next one, but was surprised there was a lot of people fucking with it. Even like yeah, a lot I, of motherfuckers in the hood. I was in the middle of the hood. I was in the Airbnb. So. Yeah, I, I could just, you know, speaking from my experience, you know, somebody, a chef, like fellow, you know, well as yourself, you know, they, they kind of made me cross over. Because I'm like, you know, this ain't going to really taste. And I tasted it, and I thought it was a hamburger. I didn't even know the difference. Yeah, you know what I mean? And, I was, and, and it fucked me up because I've been a hamburger kid since I've been six years old. So he threw that in on me. And what's even crazier, bro, is, is I want to touch on is I felt like it digested a little better. Is that crazy? Yes. Yes. No, it's not crazy. It's just unbelievable because your body and your mind is not used to it. Now, with the plant base, it's plant based, it's not meat. So somehow the scientists got meat to bleed, I mean, uh, plants to bleed. And that's how they curated this burger. But because it's 
plant-based, that means it's going to flow way better. You're not going to have no, and also you're not going to have no, no, no food items. After you eat it, you're not going to feel groggy, you're not going to feel tired. Because, and, and like I said, because it's plant-based, that's the whole base of this conversation. I mean, this topic we have is plant-based. So it does about that a lot better. Definitely. So tell uh, so tell so tell us a little bit about about your menu, you know, like what 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 are you, what is what is your specialty, and what what do you like to cook the most? Well, okay, so I'll answer two questions in one. Um, the 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 thing that people like me to cook the most are my oysters. What I like to cook the most is like uh, I like to grill a lot. I like to grill. And I like to I like to do pasta, um, different types of pasta. Uh, uh, I think those are like those oysters and pasta are my specialty. But um, I also like to make tomahawk steak. I'm getting better with those every time. Uh, so uh, I, I I I got I got a little funny story about the about the noodles because I'm I'm not a chef, right? So, but my auntie, one time when she was cooking, she threw the noodle at the wall. She threw the noodle at the wall? Yeah, and she said something about that's how you can tell if it's done. I said, is that some old school shit? Like, I said, <laughs> so I <laughs> Wait, no, so, so, okay. What kind of noodle was it? It was like, like a long, it was like a spaghetti oh, noodle. Okay, so she made sure that noodle was cooked. Mm. Because if it wasn't cooked, it would snap. Mm. Yeah. So, yeah. so that is is that do that is that how you tell if the noodle is done or yeah, or how, yeah. how do you tell them when the noodle is done? Because you said yeah. you got the pasta thing down. Man, look, you got al dente and you got fully cooked. Um, you really and this is what I've learned. I've worked in three kitchens in the Bay Area. Um, you really know if it's cooked if. I mean, you really just have to use your hands, you wear gloves, use your hands, and feel for it. You don't want it to be, you don't want to put, you know, if you can put your, th you, if you can squeeze it and it breaks in half, like it's soft where it breaks in half, then it's done. If you squeeze it and it still has a little bit of stiffness, it's not done yet. But you want to pull, you want to pull them out when they're like al dente, when they're, when you squeeze it and it's still soft, but it's still got that that holds to it and then shocking. Shocking is when you you dump it like you don't dump them but you shock them in cold ice water. Uh -huh. And that that completely stops the cooking. Uh-huh. So okay. Well okay. We 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 see you 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 sound like a pasta professional. So you got oh, that down. You got yeah. that down. So so you know that now that you you kind of experiencing you know, you 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 cooking for different people. You got your feet wet in the game. Give give us a little something about like, what what is what is like a, a, a ingredient, or you know, or or a place like what where what is what is your? It's kind of two questions in one. What what is the kind of your favorite ingredient that you want to work with that you haven't worked with that you feel is interesting? And I want to ask you about where where is your ideal place, your kitchen. Like where would it be? The ambiance. Describe the ambiance. Where what makes you feel like you in a perfect, you know, place to get it done, to get the job done? Oh man! First of all, I need the prep table to be on the left side of the stove, not the right. <laughs> that sounds important. Oh, you very <laughs> because in the kitchen you want it to be able to flow. You want to prep, then you want to cook. Then you want to play. Now, I'm left-handed, so I cook. I, my flow is like this, but I cut. I cut like this with my right. So as I'm cutting, I'm just, and then it's on to, It's like you want to station it. You want to create a system in the kitchen. Um. So my ideal kitchen is a uh, uh, prep table on the left, stove next to it, uh, oven behind me, two conventional ovens behind me. Um. Uh, really, just basically like a commercial kitchen. So I mean, I can work in any kitchen, but as long as it okay, I can say this: as long as it has some prep area, like I need my prep table, I need my prep area because when 
now Pepin, you know, I learned this working in the last case when I worked in at the cater center. You need space to get more than one thing done, especially if you're in a timely manner. You know, if, you're, if it's time for something, you need to get this done, you need to get this started, this started, this started, and then this started while you're working on this. You know, like, it's, it's, it's a whole flow. And do, do you do you have a team or is it just you? Man, look, when I be on that when I be on that Instagram talking about we, I'm talking about me, myself, and I. Uh, really. But I mean, you know about the grace of God it'll develop. So you know, I learned and I stress about it, just you know, put my best foot forward. I work a little harder to find people that are dedicated and reliable. But I'm looking for people too, so you know. Hopefully somebody sees this live podcast on YouTube or Instagram and they tap in. Okay, okay. I'm ready to well, like, like, I, like the other the other question I was saying, g give us about your dream experience or or what what ingredients you want to work with or what what kind of what kind of meat that you haven't cooked yet that you like. Ooh, I know I can fuck that up or you know give us give us some of your dreams and some of that some of your experiences that you want to elevate. Um. Um, that's really a good question. That's really a good question. Um, really, tomahawk steak is my dream. Uh, my dream meat to work with. Uh, I still want to learn how to do a seafood paella. Mm -hmm. Um. Really, bro? I don't know. I can answer. I don't have a. I, I mean, a, I was, I was, I was saying, I was saying that to say because I be seeing a lot of people doing, um, shit for like football players and shit like that, and you know, they they day to day shit is like different. You know, they yeah. might want this one day, they might want that one day, or so I'm saying like, is anything they anything somebody asks you for, you feel like you could cook it, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. And I like to challenge myself. And another thing, shout out to this little catering. And another thing, when I cook, I do things naturally. It, my first, my first tomahawk I ever made came out handy. Mm. But you have to, you have to be natural with it, and you have to trust your craft. You have to trust your, you have to trust the fact that okay, this is what you do, right? So do it. And if you fuck up, you just fuck up. You just learn from the fuck. But you know, of course, you want to look at and you want to get some advice from people or YouTube or whatever on, you know, how to start it. But you put your own foot on everything. Every, basically, I'm saying everything I do is natural. Uh -huh. um, yeah, that's really, that's really it as far as like, you know, something I haven't, I don't really. Uh, do, you, do you fuck with the um, halal meats? Or, or no? I've never cooked it, honestly. I've never cooked it. Okay. Yeah, because I, I know I, I was dealing with somebody and she had me eating that shit. And, uh, you know, it was, it was just something different. It was something different. Um, I had actually asked, you know, the people who use that type of meat, like, what's the difference? If I'm not mistaken, I can't remember this was a few months ago. They said something like it's the way they... It's the way that they uh, it's the way they slaughter it. Uh, it's, uh, it's a different. It's, it's something. But yeah, no, I've never dealt with it. So okay, know. okay. So, so wrap, wrapping up a little bit. I don't want to hold you too long. Are you so, good? um, give give us give give us what what do you see in the future of Papa John? What what's 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 next? What what? Because I mean you. Like I said, what's next? I know you got goals. I know you got ambition. So, you know, what's what's next? You know, what 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 can we look forward to? Um, well, first of all, I want to look, I want to look forward to uh, my mentor, Please Kitchen, shout out Please Kitchen. We're working. That's on. my man's too. That's my man. We from the same hood. Kind of, I think that's what he kind of said. The football player. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's my man. That's my yeah. man. That's my dog. That's my mentor, man. That's I, what's that's up. Big um, um, he's opening up the kitchen, Pierre, Pierre, and by the grace of God, I'll be one of the chefs that's going to be participating. Um, and I already got the position, you know. Uh, but as far as my... 
more celebrity catering. Next year, mark my words, I will be cooking for Devon Mooney from the Warriors, Michael Bird. Uh, next year, there's some big artists, some big uh, basketball players that I would like to cook for. Next year, I will be like to do contracts with people to where I'll be doing three, four, five weeks, you know, specials cooking. Um, look forward to travel, chef cooking, catering. Um, a lot more traveling, also a lot more uh, going to try different foods in different states, different countries. This year, y'all seen me in France, mark my words. Going to the pasta, the pasta, uh, 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 holy grill. You feel me? Okay. So, I gotta get to Italy, I gotta get to France, I gotta get, I gotta get up there, so I will mark my words. Even if, for, even if it's for a turnaround. But, I mean, and also, um, I'm going to be working on a cooking therapy class. Uh, I already got the space for it. We got four stoves in there and a nice table for children and youth to sit down. And, you know, um, and just a lot more great food, you know, feed more to the community. You know, I reached Oakland, I feel like now I'm trying to feed the world. You know? That's real. That's real. That's real, man. Well, you know, we, we, we hope you keep chasing your dreams and keep advancing, man. You know, we, we, we clapping for you and, 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 and don't stop, bro. Like, like, you know, we see you at the toy drives and you know what I mean? We see you out here for the community. Keep representing that real Oakland and keep putting this food in these people's stomachs, man. You know what I mean? For food, yes, food. I, I know as a, as a chef, you know, food go a long way, man. A per, food could change a person's life. Yeah. And can, I say one, can I say a few Go things? Go ahead. Um, like you said, food can change someone's life. Uh, you know, another thing I'm going to be working on next year is getting more gigs for, like, weddings or funerals or couples dinner or, you know, something where it's more personal because, you know, with this stuff we got going on, we're coming out of the pandemic, it was, it's been a lot of grief. It's been a lot of grievance, a lot of deaths, a lot of breaking, whatever. And my whole thing is I want my food to comfort you. I want my food to put a smile on your face. I want my food to get the reaction of, man, I can't believe I just tried this food from this, like, like, because I've already got those, I've already got those, those, uh, the, that feedback from people, like, man, I can't believe I got this, this these oysters. I finally got them. I finally got the food. Mm -hmm. Like, you feel me? I finally tried this crab pasta. Like, you know, like, I want people to, I want people to be excited. But also understand that this is healthier food, healthier living, and it's clean food. So it's going to make you feel good, no matter what it is. Uh, That's what, so, yeah. what's up, man. That's what's up. That, that, so let, let, these people, they need to know it's a message behind Papa German and Chef. I ain't in here just cooking, trying to make a bag. It's a message behind my food, and I want you to know this chef care about you. And I'm, if I'm cooking for you, it's like I'm cooking for family. So it's with yes. love. Yes. Um, you know, hood healthy is hood healthy is the slogan, but the saying is bringing healthy bringing healthy to the hood one meal at a time. And like I tell people, and it's on the back, it's on my old flyers. It's not about healthy food, but it's about healthier living, healthier relationships, healthier habits. You know, uh, developing. You know, because, you know, health is wealth. And uh, this year I learned a lot more about the health side of things and the health side of personal. You know, like, the reason why I started cooking healthier food is because my doctor was me about, you know, uh, high blood pressure, high cholesterol. I'm like, man, I don't even use, like, like, for example, I don't even use white salt. I use pink salt, pink Himalayan salt. Okay. And people, people are like, how is it so good that you don't use salt? Because it's how you cook it. If you put your love into it, you want it to taste like you. you want it to hit different palates. So that's you know, that's what hood help you. Come from, you give, so you it. give, you giving out them secrets. You're giving out them secrets, oh, man. man. That's, just, that's just one. You feel me? I, I need. I mean, that's not really a secret because at the end of the day, man, people gotta start taking care of their health. That's you know, real. We drink, we but to counter all that, you just take care of your health. We eat more than we drink, you know? Definitely. So, you know, if you can counter that with a little bit of healthy habits and, you know, you know, it'll, it'll work. But, you know, 
That's all we're pushing for. For sure, man. We appreciate you coming in, man, flying in here with us, man. Um, anytime you want to bang back in, man, and, um, you know, let, let us know about a new dish that you're working on or an experience that you didn't have, man, I'm here, man. So it's all good, man. We appreciate you, man. Enjoy the rest of your holidays, man, and keep feeding our stomachs, man. Dog for real. That's all good, man. Thank this, you. This was this was this is a dope podcast. This is a dope uh platform, bro. I wish you nothing but the best and I appreciate the invite as well, bro. It's all good, but man. I ain't gonna lie, I was gonna I, you 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 beat me to the message. <laughs> I was gonna hit you like man, I wanna get on, but you hit me, you was like, man, come on, on, man. Hey, 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 I I I am I'm, I'm gonna say this too to people that wanna get on. I'm I'm not Ray Charles, man. I see you working, okay. So if I bang your line, man, please get at me. Please get at me. Can I can I tell you and the people one thing before we get off? Go on? ahead. I wish you and everybody that's watching, I wish every thousands of followers that follow us watch us every day. I wish everybody nothing but success and abundance of blessings. I wish everybody a productive, good, healthy new year. A, 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 a new year filled with blessings, finances, success, uh, 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 work ethic, consistency, emotion. emotion. Everybody get on they. Everybody get on they <laughs> shit, man. Cause it's a new year, man. We got to show these people we still here. You feel and, me? And, 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 and remember, like like a fly nigga said before, a uh, no. slow motion is better than no motion, man. This ain't no race. This Hello. ain't no race. Hello, it ain't a race when you're in first place. Sure. Come on now, at least you're trying to finish. <laughs> <laughs> get at me, we get know. at me though, big dog. It was, hey, it was, it was a pleasure. Yeah, I, know. I appreciate you, my dog. It's nothing. Hey, man, keep flying, my boy. It's all good. All right.